Hey there friends, Brooke here. I wanted to finish up our sequence of Kawita by showing you some great beaches in the town of Kawita, which is my personal favorite. I lived in Kawita for about two years. I lived on the Caribbean. It was one of the best times of my life. I lived right on the beach. There's a lot of expats living in uh, Kawita right now. And one of the main things that people love about Kawita, number one, is the beaches. Number two is the national park. And for me, number three is the culture and the food and the Rastafari kind of Afro-Caribbean vibe. This is one of the smaller towns in Costa Rica. So if you're looking for the five-star hotels and the five-star restaurants and the big nightlife, this is not it. This is a more relaxed part of Costa Rica on the Caribbean coast, which is what has its charm for me. Uh, the great Rasta Caribbean vibe is seen throughout the town. You can see the restaurants there. They have things like stomach soup, sopa de mondongo, which is actually very, very typical in all of Latin America. You come here because you want to see the real flavor of the Caribbean. Goita is best known for its beaches. One of them is White Beach, another one is Black Beach. The White Beach is just off of the National Park. There's basically one main road that goes through town. At the end of this road is the National Park Hotel, and then there's the long National Park with the long white sandy beach. It's called Playa Blanca, or White Beach. This National Park Hotel right here is one of the closest hotels to the beach that there is here in Cahuita. The um, National Park of Cahuita is right behind me. These rooms right here have air conditioning, they have balconies. You're right here at the beach. It's a good price. And then you have a nice little bar restaurant area at the bottom here. And then in the evening, you're gonna have, be able to have uh, lunch or dinner or drink or Coke or whatever right there on the sand, just in front of the hotel. Watch the sunset, it's beautiful. So, if you guys are looking for a great hotel, for a good price also that's right here next to the beach, I definitely recommend the National Park Hotel. Again, right here on the beach in Kawita's National Park. Another beach that I really, really like is Black Beach. I actually used to live near Black Beach. I used to go jogging on the beach. I used to go swimming in the water every day. I probably went swimming almost every day for about a year or a year and a half. always little kids that have these surfboards it just amazes me i look around at these kids from the caribbean area here and they're all ripped and they have these little you know surfer bodies and they have their little surfboards and the kids like seven years old i'm like seriously when i was seven years old i could barely go out of the house by myself the town itself is very small there's just like i said one main road that goes through town there's small restaurants along the way that have very, very typical Caribbean food from coconut seafood soup to lobster to fresh snapper like we saw in Miss Edith's video from before. There's also Coco's, which is kind of the, the local nightlife. Um, you can go there, you can dance, you can listen to music. They generally have music on Friday or Saturdays. There's another place across the way called Ricky's. They have food as well. They have dancing as well if you're looking for a little bit of nightlife. And let me tell you, the way those people dance there is pretty impressive. I've never seen women dance with their, you know, ass out so much and that's just like, whoa. White girl thought she could dance after she saw these girls? No. There's amazing things that you can see when you're walking along like an Ylang Ylang tree. When I, before I moved to Costa Rica, I had no idea what an Ylang Ylang tree even was. 
It's what they make the perfume Chanel number no. 5 out of. So as you can see this flower right here, it looks like little leaves but they're actually little flowers and sometimes when you're walking along any part of Kawita, you just get these floral smells from these wonderful trees that are just blooming. And this Ylang Ylang tree, there's a special spot and it's on the way to Black Beach on the right. Most of the time the flowers are not close enough to pick but every now and again I'll get lucky. I'll be able to go by pick one of those ylang ylang flowers and I like to put it in my bra because the heat from the body will release those oils and then you smell like Chanel number no. 5 or ylang ylang all day long for free and that's my style. Another thing that I really like about the town is that no matter where you are you're bound to see wildlife. It's crazy, you just have to look around and you have to be aware of what you're looking for, otherwise you're not gonna see it. I was walking out of the Kawita National Park when I looked to the left and just next to a restaurant, I saw two people looking up at a tree. And I thought to myself, hmm, they're probably not looking at nothing. So I went over, of course, and there was a huge, huge group of these Congo howler monkeys. That's what they call them in Spanish, Congos. They wake you up at 4.30 in the morning with their <laughs> or however they do it, and it's annoying, don't get me wrong. But just to be woken up and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm being woken up by monkeys right now. That's kind of cool, if you think about it. Definitely a place where you can feel the flavor. When I was looking at these Congo monkeys that were right next to the restaurant, I saw something I was pretty impressed about. Wow, I had no idea that they had anatomy just like we did. I should have realized, but I guess it's just something I really didn't think about until right now. No matter where you were born, 
try to go to every new place and respect their culture. So many people go traveling and they judge other cultures based on what their own cultures do. I learned this a long time ago in an anthropology class in college. It's called cultural objectivity and it's to not judge another culture by your own culture. I would have to say that there's a lot of things that are different from Costa Rica to the US where I'm from. It's a good thing. That's why you travel, right? So you can see other things. It's definitely part of the fun of it and it's definitely what makes travel so interesting to see that we're all the same and yet we're all so different depending on where we were from. So I hope you guys like that Cahuita series. La Fortuna Arenal Volcano. Can't wait to show you guys. There's some amazing footage of some natural hot springs there, some cool different hotels and hostels where I stayed. I hope you guys tune in and check it out.